This Game Boy Color may look a little familiar to you if you've seen before. I've taken it apart and I've tried to do a front light modification because, let's be realistic, you can't really see this too well. We all know it very well. The old Game Boys didn't have a very good um, ability to read the screen because LCD technology was just coming out at the time. But people have experimented, you know, the, the classic Game Boys, you can remove the polarizer and put a little backlight in it, but you can't really do it with the Game Boy Color because of the way the LCD is made. So people would put front lights on them. You could steal them. It started off with people stealing them off of the Game Boy SPs and you'd mod the case. Um, then it moved into people putting custom-made ones, there were some that you could get, and there were people actually putting in backlit ones. And they were always expensive, but now, <laughs> I just revisited the topic, and it seems you can just get some on eBay for like $35. And we're gonna see exactly how well it works. It comes with um, a screen, a couple of insulators, the front cover, which <laughs> looks like a poor ripoff. So I'm not gonna use that if I don't have to. And, a controller board that does a little bit of translation. Um, this looks like an antenna on here. I don't really know why it would have a Wi-Fi antenna. That's kind of unfortunate. I do, it looks like it could take some soldering, but the thing is, it doesn't come with any instructions at all. So what I'm gonna do is just do the bare minimum and see if I can get it to work. And then we'll see where I can go from there. Cause I haven't read up on this at all. I just ordered one off eBay and we're gonna see how well it goes, so. First things first, gotta take the batteries out of this because it's not gonna go too well with those. And don't worry, there's a protective little thing on here, so we're gonna peel that off in the end. Um, this foam, I'm not sure where it's gonna go either, but I do know that there's foam in the Game Boy. So, first thing you gotta do to disassemble any Game Boy is you gotta take the batteries out, keep this cover off, and there are six tri wing screws. Um, most kits will include both a Phillips and a Tri-Wing. Just have somewhere to sort of store your screws. I got a random little plastic tray here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So, just get that done right there. Alrighty. So, with that apart, now you can just peel the Game Boy basically apart. Um, the two contacts on the left side, actually I don't know if it varies from certain models, but uh, the two contacts on the left side, when it's facing like this, um, stay down but the other two come with the case so you can move, take that off place it aside with your screws and now you'll see i've done a couple of modifications to this um sound and whatnot besides the point your game boy should look like this we're gonna see three phillips screws on the bottom mine are a little worn out as you can see so i'm not sure if the screwdriver is going to work but like i said we're going to try to use the stock tools oh also we might as well do it now. Up here is the actual ribbon cable for your original screen. We're going to go ahead and detach that just so that you don't have to worry about it later. So I like to pull that back. Just gently slide this through like that and just roll it out like that. And now you can take your finger and it should just come out. So that's good right there. Be pretty careful with that because it is the type of thing you can break if you're not too careful with it. That's one. Ooh, that one's looking pretty stripped. Two. And three. Yeah, yeah. This, this, isn't, this is too small of a Phillips for mine. I'm gonna need a bigger Phillips when I go to put these back in. All right, so this should just come out and the speaker should come out as well. So we'll just sort of pull on that a little bit as the PCB comes out, and there we have the whole Game Boy. We're just gonna put that up at the top. And now, as you can see, I have done mine before because in the past, I did the front light modification. So this would involve taking off the foam, peeling it off, etc. So we're gonna peel this off again. I'm gonna hopefully be able to put in the new one it looks like it's a different size, so I'm not sure if we actually have to use this or not. I'm really hoping not, but it looks like we do because it looks like you put the 3M adhesive down and it's gonna hold it in place. That's unfortunate. Um, either way, take your buttons out. All right, those are your little contacts, quite important. Whoop, battery down. 
contacts. There's your buttons and your power switch. Keep those intact. We're going to need those. And we want to pry up around this. So I'm going to get a little tool that can pry pretty well, and then I'll be right back. So hold on. So if you want to reduce the damage that you could possibly do to this screen, I would recommend something wide and plastic. Um, I don't really care too much, so we're going to just pry a little bit with a screwdriver or attempt to, especially since, yeah, see, mine's no longer adhered. It's just going to come right off, um, but you will have a lot of issues. Again, I'm going to link in the top corner um, the original video where I did um, the front screen because there's a lot of prying involved and it takes a lot of effort to get this off, but I've already taken mine off before, so that's the case there. Now I'm curious, just place that down somewhere soft so you don't damage it, but of course I guess we're replacing the screen so you shouldn't care too much. I'm curious how exactly this works, so I'm thinking it goes down like this, right? Assuming it would be held in place. This looks like it's custom designed to hold the screen in place. It looks like this is, is this sticky? I'm just trying to figure this out for a second here. Because I've not, again, no instructions included here. So no, this front plate is not sticky. This looks like an adhesive though, which is really, really weird to me. Does this hold it? No. What holds your screen in place is my question currently. I guess glue can, but like existing glue obviously will, but I would rather it didn't. Because otherwise you got to line this screen up and it's got to be perfect. So you got to make sure there's no dust on the inside or you'll be permanently looking at dust. I use this to clean my camera lenses, anything like that. So I'm going to use a drop of that and try to clean it off here just to be sure that there's nothing on there. When I go to adhere this, it's interesting because to me, I don't really want to take this original back off because it looks so much better than the one that's current, than the one they're offering. The one they're offering is a lot worse looking. All right. Now I'm going to peel this back, and as I peel it back, I'm going to stick it onto the screen to the best of my ability here. So I have to take this out of camera to line it up properly. There's no way that I can do it from that angle. Alright. I've sort of adhered it in place, so what I'm noticing is I can see why they have a different bezel immediately because this is probably closer together. Yeah, it cl it's a little bit smaller, so it's going to hide that white on the side. The screen's actually slightly a different size. I think it's a little bit smaller in all dimensions. So you can see there's a bit of a white trim there. Whereas with the new one, but I really hate the look of the new one. Look how cheapo it looks. They didn't even get the, the colors right. They got everything else right, but they didn't get the goddamn colors right. So I don't really like that. We'll see. I might revisit it. It's also not adhering very well, so we may have to take it off. But I'm thinking that just with friction alone, it's probably going to hold in place. Anyways, um, I've got to put this to the back at the very least. That's what they say. I don't know why it's uh, just so that it doesn't short on anything. There you go. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Don't know what the foam's for still. Haven't figured that much out. I'm guessing it goes to the back here, but I'm not sure yet. This goes to the insulating film. So let's see. This has to go like this, right? Obviously. Ooh, okay, so then this has to go like this right to the back 
on the back of the PCB board. So I'm thinking like this, and the foam like this, and it sits like this, right? That makes sense to me, maybe? All right. It kind of makes sense to me, I don't know. Again, no instructions and I'm not going to Google it. I'll Google it after I do this. It's just sort of an improv video we're doing here. I refuse. I'm not going to Google this. And I've moved the screen. <laughs> oh boy, I'm definitely gonna end up having to put on that shittier looking one. I really don't want to. I'm just hoping that I can like, put enough pressure on it that it just holds it in place. And then I don't need to worry about it, but we'll see. That's a lot of pressure to put on the, the um, let's see here, so this has to go how the hell do they want this to go? Like this, right? And then how the hell does this go? Oh God, I'm lost. Okay, so this has to go up. And then what, does this go like this? But that doesn't really make any sense if it goes like this. Did I put that in right? I don't think I put that in right. It goes like this, doesn't it? It goes the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, that, yeah, I had it upside down. The brown end goes to the top. Then that folds like this. This folds like that. This goes on the back of this. Hold on, we're getting it here. Right like that. Trying not to get my head in the way of the shot here. No. Wow, it's not really trimmed to size. Okay. All right, all right. I like that. I like that. Kind of, not really. All right. And then this goes on top, and this plugs in. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Uh. That feels so bad. Just like that. No questions asked. What could go wrong? Right. It feels like it's a bit thick, if you ask me. All right, I'm gonna put in one screw in the middle and then I'm gonna fit the case together and see what kind of horrible things happen. I'm gonna use this terrible Phillips to get it back in. Just wanna see if it even works. Cause I don't even know, I, I, you may need to solder some power to it for all I know, right? I don't even know if it's gonna work without any power or if it needs to sap some off of the bat. I oh God, that feels bad. Um, if it needs to sap some off of the batteries or what the situation is. I think that foam is way too thick, if you ask me. I think this is really going to play a part in it. That uh, custom front. I really do. I think that custom front's a big proponent. But see how much f like force is being applied? It feels bad, man. I know there are no buttons, by the way. I know that I forgot the buttons. I just want to see if the screen works. And I need to have the battery terminals in. I don't want to risk damaging those. So just want to see if it works. Okay. Uh, batteries in. All right, I'm just going to flick the switch with the screwdriver and we're going to see if it works. And it does. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's a simple mod anyone can do. Let's try it. Let's put a game into it. All right, so I took it apart off camera and I squared it up nicely on the original and I've put it back down. You can see there's still a little piece of dust in there. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. 
And that's why I sort of didn't want to make this video too formal. Like, ooh, here's how you do it. Buh, 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 buh. eBay is a good place. Like, here's the problem I have with this. Look at how great it looks. Full color. Fantastic. You know. All right, we get the idea. Sure, this is, it looks fantastic. Um, but you may already notice it, and we, I already kind of alluded to it earlier. Uh, we're gonna set the date to something a.m. Can we do a.m.? Something like 10 a.m. Just so that we get the same color scheme as I had in the B-roll. Turn that volume down. It looks so much better, right? But look at the screen size. That's so disappointing to me. Because like I said earlier, like, yes, sure. You could put a border on it, right? And that does make it look pretty good. So I think I, I may make, I'm either, I'm either gonna make a follow-up video putting this on, but I wanted to make this one just as a test to show you that if you do get one of these panels, off of eBay. They're not the original, original size. So they're a little bit smaller. Um, so you can see there's actually a bar at the top. You're not even using all of the pixels and it's shrunk smaller. So it's just, they shrunk it in a little bit rather than making it a little wider. And I don't know if that's to that, like as you saw how, did you see how easy it was to install this? Just had to take the old one out, put the new one in. Didn't even need to apply any really new adhesive because it's going to be jam-packed sandwiched in there. You could if you want. Also, I think the foam's a little thick because there is a little more play in these buttons. I'm not sure. Again, no instructions. So, But it seems pretty straightforward. You plug the things in, no soldering, you put it together. I think you can solder something for like brightness control or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, didn't say. But I mean, out of the box, it looks pretty good. Other than a piece of dust I left there, but I'm probably going to take it apart anyways again, off camera. Um, I may make a quick follow-up video just demonstrating how you put that on. I also kind of want to remake the video where if your Game Boy doesn't start up, how to replace the fuse, but I don't have any fuses on hand, so you can expect that. So basically you can expect probably at least one more Game Boy video where I may put this back on because it does look a lot nicer. It hides the fact that, you know, the screen's a little bit smaller. It's nothing too bad. You lose, I'd say, about three millimeters of screen. Two, nah, I'd say you lose about two millimeters on each side. Yeah. It's not, it's not great. But anyways, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I'll try to get a couple more shots of just how nice this looks. Here, turn the lights off. Turn those lights off. Turn all my lights off. It's not bad, right? It's pretty good. Camera's not I'm making it look a little blue, but it looks nice in person. Yeah, I can definitely see why you, you can see a little light bleed too. It would be, it would look a lot nicer with this on there. I hate that that C is like faded though. I might color the C with a little red Sharpie. That'll, that'll appease me. Okay, there will be a video. I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a follow up video where you put this, the proper one on the front. Okay. See you then, eh? Hey, a little red sharpie goes a long way, eh? Not too bad. Too bad the O is still a little dark, but as long as that doesn't wear off immediately, which it will, it's not looking too bad. <laughs> Alright, see you next time.